Hello, I'm Sandra Jungers and I'm back with you this afternoon to, uh, or maybe it's this morning, but anyway, I'm back with you to talk a little bit more about developmental care and this time we're going to focus on the musculoskeletal system and, uh, and how important it is for us as nurses to maintain the musculoskeletal system uh, for our infants. I'm going to give you a few objectives in this lecture here and the fact that hopefully once we finish this you're going to be able to discuss the importance of positioning and what the effects are both on short-term and long-term outcomes with our infants if positioning is uh, overlooked or not uh, you know, implemented as soon as we need to in the NICU. And then also we're going to try to understand a little bit more about how developmentally appropriate positioning really is, what impact that it does have on our infants. And then we're going to talk a little bit about getting that microenvironment for the infant that demonstrates a little bit of midline flexion containment. And uh, I think you'll find that, you know, this is where you're really doing a lot of work at the bedside and you're really looking to see what is taking place with your infant. Hopefully you'll be gaining some observation skills in order to help you to better assess your infants. And uh, as I said, I've been a nurse for a long time and uh, I got very interested in developmental care and uh, feel like that it is the one thing that we as clinicians can do at the bedside that does make a significant impact with our infants. So with that being said, we're gonna move over and sort of take and look a little bit at that muscular skeletal system. You'll notice in this slide here, you know, very beginning, I know, the embryonic stage for our infant. Notice the fact that we've got a few limb buds here. Notice the fact that we have, you know, where the eyes are, the fact that, you know, we've got, you know, head shape and so forth. And this is the very, very beginning. I mean, look how small and vulnerable our infants are as things start to progress. And the fact they take up very little space in that amniotic sac and in, within the uterine wall. Notice the distinct contrast in the slide that I just showed you and this slide here where we have the infant in utero. He is much older. The fact, look where his arms are, look where his hands are. Look at how, you know, his head is being braced, his buttocks are being braced. The fact that he's got his knees, you know, pointed north-south and the fact that he has the ability to do foot bracing. This is sort of kind of what it's all about with our infants and the fact that they really want to have that you know, physiologically flex position. They want containment. And, uh, and all of these have a significant impact on what's going to be happening with our infant and in, uh, when he gets to the NICU unit and we're taking care of him and his growth and development. All right, let's talk a little bit <clears throat> about the musculoskeletal system and the fact that do you realize that the musculoskeletal system is actually moldable and the fact that the shaping of this system actually begins when the infant comes to us? in the NICU and that we can have some real positive input into how that muscular skeletal system develops. It's a process that continues all through the hospital stay with our infant. You know, we have the ability as the caregiver to observe early posture. We have the ability to observe early movement. We can, you know, just really be in tune to what this infant is doing and how he's responding to positions and so forth. Because remember that if we have a negative musculoskeletal development, we will interfere with motor development. And uh, so therefore we want to do everything that we can to enhance that motor development. The other thing is the fact that we want to try to prevent or minimize any of those musculoskeletal issues that our infants may have because it's one of the more costly uh, items that our parent will have to provide for when our infant goes home.